Okay, so quiet. This is Andrew, welcome back. And uh, today we're back in the kitchen for another project. Um, down here, under the stove, is electrical service. But on the other side, below the breakfast bar, there's no electrical at all. But it's a perfect place to set up a slow cooking, you know, crock pot or rice maker or those kinds of things. So, um, I have uh, the, that side of the wall is just a wood panel and uh, I've got an electrical box. So I'm going to be able to cut through the back side of the wood panel and mount an electrical box on a stud. The back side of this is all open, fortunately. I'm going to cut it out and I'll be able to extend the existing electrical uh, um, outlet box and run a wire into here and uh, put a single gang socket on the other side of the wall. So that's today's project and uh, we'll get things uh, started and we'll be uh, right back in the minute. Okay, so here we are on the other side, and I put two holes in, and each hole lines up with the existing stud to make it easier to get a, I get to get a box roughed in, and um, the the box is is a little odd shape, right? It's two and about three eighths opening, and about four and or three and three quarters long but you need to rough in because the box actually has to protrude through the panel. The panel is about a quarter inch thick because uh, I want it to be flush with the face of the, of the panel just like how you would do with drywall. So I'm going to rough it out to two and a half by four and it'll give me an eighth of an inch on all sides and I'm sure they, I'm sure they intended it that way. Uh, so I'm going to rough it out at two and a half by four Right, two and a half <coughs> by four. Measure twice, cut once. And uh, so I've already marked my first line going down. And now I can go over. I can get my four inch mark down here at the corner of here. Making sure I got it all lined up and parallel to the stud. And inches. Right. Two inches. Right. And then one oh, no, two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. Gotta go over two and a half. And then this stud is not exactly straight up and down. It's got a little, I don't know if it shows up in the camera, but the, the stud is not exactly straight. Uh, but I have to mount to the stud, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it out so that the box will line up to the stud, and then um, I can adjust the position of the um, electrical the outlet. I can I can tweak that a little bit to make it straight up and down. So it'll look nice when it's done. That's the important thing. So there we are, right along the stud. The stud is right here. And um, let's double check. Looks like a nice, a nice fit. Cool. I've got, a, I've got my jigsaw here with a fine tooth blade, as fine as I have. I'm gonna th set it for a very thin, it's got an adjustable stroke. So I'm gonna set it for the thin stroke because it's just quarter inch. And, um, and then go ahead and cut out this box. And uh, hopefully I'll stay inside the lines here. Got my safety glasses on, very important. 
my uh, my foot. Can you see that the foot is not square to the blade? There is an adjustment here, and there is a scale on the bottom. Adjust that to the scale. Okay, the scale says it's at zero. Right now. There we go. Now, now it's square to the blade. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. It's got a fixed focus. Okay, here we go. Always let the blade run down to stop before you pull it out because if you pull it out too fast you can actually doink your panel and cause damage or break the blade. Either way it's not a good outcome. Okay, here we go. Oh, I just popped a breaker. Okay, back from uh, resetting this, the circuit. The circuit the blue is part of the normal outlets to go to like living room and things like that and it's one of those uh, very uh, fault intolerant GFCI kind of breakers in the panel and uh, so probably this electric motor probably made it very upset because it's you know big electric motor so I've switched it so now I'm plugged into one of the outlets in the kitchen which is on a different kind of circuit it has its own GFI right there in the kitchen uh, and it's a little bit less uh, sensitive so hopefully this will be enough to get me through these. What is that, 10 inches? Four and four and five. What is that, nine? 13, 13 inches, there we go. section until I've got it kind of squared out. That's the, the usual technique. So I'll start here and I'll go up to that corner. And uh, I'm not getting any tear out. This is a nice fine blade. So it's going well. Let me do my downstroke here. things a little bit to get a nice little set the exposure to the wood panel there we go all right now I'll do this part here make this square <laughs> So there's the hole, check the box, the box is good, and um, I took out, these uh, kind of boxes come with nails that are inserted through these diagonal slots, and I didn't want to have to swing a hammer back there, so I took a couple of three inch screws, and I ran those through the inside, um, but they're, they're far enough away from where the Romex goes that they won't conflict. But it'll allow me to be in there with my impact driver and a T25 head and be able to securely attach it to the to the stud. So it's going to go in there just like that, but on the other side. Let's reset the camera and uh, we'll go do that right now. 
Okay, so now here we are on the other side of that wall. And you can see my nice uh, rectangular hole there is right next to the stud. So it came out really well. And I've got my box here. Um, I think rather than trying to struggle with being back in there and hooking up this, this outlet underneath there and wiring to it under there, um, I think I'll just kind of save myself a little hassle. I've got a short piece of Romix here that I can um, set up in the electrical box and um, just pull back a few inches of this cover here. Yeah. This gets this shield off of here. Comes off easy. This is just standard. Uh, this is 14.2. Should be enough for here. And uh, where's my wire strippers? I just have them. So wire strippers. So I can uh, pull off the ends of these guys. There we go. And um, I just figured it'd be a little bit easier on me. So you have to go in like that. So I think I'll come in like this hole right here. I think this would be a good hole to be in. There we go. So nice little hole. And uh, so I can insert through. And that's that's how it'll go right there in the, against the wall. Just wanted to kind of pre-wire this whole thing, right? So black on black, they, they mark it right on there. It's, this this side is the white side, that's the black side, and the ground goes down here on the green, right? So there's a white wire, and these ones they have an insertion a hole. You just push right in, real simple, just like that. And you take the end, and you just put a little curl right there on the end. That doesn't even come in focus. There you can kind of see it. And you just hook that on the uh, the green screw, just like that. And then I've got my little fancy Dewalt screwdriver, and uh, just tighten that up, just like that, I think I need a new tip, my tip's getting a little worn out, uh, so there's that, so this is electrical, and uh, when you put the electrical in a box by the way, you always put it like this with the ground lug on the bottom, you always, I was thinking of this as like, you know, the face, there's the eyes and the mouth, and that's the normal way you put an electrical outlet in a box. Um, <clears throat> and and the, the one thing I do know, I'm not an electrician by the way, but if you put it in upside down, that is a signal that this outlet is controlled by a switch or a dimmer or something like that. And so uh, if you're going to put it in upside down, that, that then another electrician's going to think that it's got a switch on it. So if it doesn't have a switch, if it's just a straight outlet, which is what this is going to be, then you want to make sure you put it right side up. So that's going to go in the electrical box, and it's going to mount on the wall. I'm poking myself with these silly screws. Um, that's going to mount like that, because here's the screws. It's going to go against that stud. So here's it all, all in the right way. I'm going to pre-mount this outlet. Once again, using my DeWalt screwdriver. Just put it on my knee a second to get the screw started, and then I'll show you. And then um, the the screws here, you just want to put them in long enough. To hold it in place. When you um, wait, is that gonna go through? It might not go through the hole. Let me just check it. Make sure it doesn't pull. Excuse my reach.
And, um, and the trick is you want to, uh, if it's drywall, then sometimes you have to have the electrical box be up higher because the drywall might be thicker. Whereas this one, I want to put the blue box right at the surface of the, the wood panel. And then this thing can rest on the panel and then the, the cover will just cover everything and be, be a nice tight fit. So let me um, I'm gonna run, run, run around the other side real quick and, and uh, check the position of my box and then uh, come back around this side and then we'll put some screws in. Okay, so here we are back and I just I double checked the other side just to make sure that everything was lining up correctly. And uh, my electrical outlet, uh, because of how I put it on there, it's if I just uh, put it in there and then pull back a little bit, it'll grab the front face of the uh, electrical panel, and which is about the right position. That that putting the electrical box just slightly below the surface of the panel, and I've got my T25 in my Milwaukee here, and I'm gonna try and cram my whole body into this shelf. Pardon me, I'm gonna block this shot so you won't be able to see anything. We are fully in. Can you see that? Yeah. So we are fully in position, and I got a little gap on both sides, and um, so I'll be able to uh, actually put the cover on the other side. That's that's actually just about done. And I have to disassemble this other electrical box over here and uh, tap into that electrical. So we'll come back in just a sec. Okay. So here we are back, and uh, finally found. Uh, the breaker that controls this circuit it's tied into either the range hood or the dishwasher I don't know which but those are the last two that I turned off and then it came off and my tester showed that it was dead so this box here is a steel box so I was even more concerned about getting that power turned off last thing I want is to short out especially on camera okay just getting the screws out here that hold this in place, and I bust this bush. Just fuck one of the screws. Okay, pull this through a little bit, and uh, I'll pull out a length of this Romex here. Just the right length, and uh, cut off its shielding a little bit. has a piece of paper on it. And get that stripper off. Take off the black and the white shield there. There we go. And it's the same kind of a outlet. It's got uh, those little holes you can insert the wires into. So it'll make this part really easy. And uh, I gotta run the wire though through this. I don't know if you can even see that. There's a little strain relief back here on the side of the box, and the wire has to come through that, and that, that prevents the wire from being pulled out by accident. There we go. I have to put my whole body in again. Two arms necessary. Shield through. There we go. Now I 
can start inserting the wires into the holes. There's the light. And then the black. There we go. Put these in. And I just need to, just need to loosen up the ground. And um, add it to the existing ground so it's all together. And um, put a little hook on the end of this one too, just like the other one. Here, let me uh, keep it up bringing that one, please. supposed to be working on his homework right now. He's using my phone to send messages to mommy. Okay, now my phone is locking up. That's not good. Hello? Is this my finger? There it goes. Sorry. Okay, I just want to take a picture of what's going on down here so I can add that as an overlay in um, the video. There we go. It doesn't even need a flash. I like that. Then the one you Because I can't find it. Okay, do, do reading. Okay. Back to uh, work here. Let's add this ground. And then the other. Right next to the other green screen. So there we go. Now both the grounds are secure. All the wires are secure. Okay. So now I can pull the wires back and push this monster back in the hole. I'll tell you, I don't know how electricians did this work putting in these outlets without one of these. Because trying to do it by hand, you'll be here for 10 times longer. This one, you just kind of push it in the right direction, get, press it, twist it, and off it goes. And, and I'm already halfway done getting this thing back in again. So it's just saving me a ton of time. Okay, I'm going to put one more screw in under the side. So I can secure the outlet and then go back to the front side and, and uh, I'll actually be done. Here we go. back to the uh, straight driver tip and then I'm going to tighten up the string relief make sure that's not so tight side and we'll we'll finish up we'll put the other cover on and then 
hit the power and, and test it out. I'll be right back. Okay, so here this is the, the last part. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, tighten these down. So they're all the way flush or slightly below. It's a good position right there. And um, that's where the cover plate will go. In fact, I can see. To lift them up a little bit. The screw holes right there is where the cover plates mount and it's right against the plastic housing and the panel. I don't think it'll go very well. Back this off just a little bit so we have a place to go. And that puts the electrical box just proud of the surface of this with paneling. There we go. That's a better way. Carefully. Hang on, buddy. There's one going in. I can adjust it here and make it kind of look like it's straightened out. I got room in the box to adjust. And that's how they designed all this. So even if somebody did the work and was sloppy, it would still be nice and straight and square. So there you go. That's how you do electrical work. Fortunately, it was a lot easier than uh, how a typical job would be. And uh, I've got a, another project coming up when we get the furnace going on, uh, where I'm gonna actually convert that whole furnace room into an actual closet that's gonna have uh, interior power. I'm gonna put my networking hardware in there. It's gonna have a couple different lights, uh, some switches and uh, okay, so here we are at the end of the project. The new electrical looks great. It's very solid and um, it's going to be a nice addition here to our dining room. We can use it to put a crock pot up on top or a rice maker or any of those typical appliances where you need a little electrical on this side and that's, that was the whole idea of putting this in. Fortunately, I used all the materials I had left over from other projects. So I didn't have to spend a single dime on anything. So that's probably the best part, I think, of the whole project. Thank you so much for coming along and joining me here on this video. Please do like and share. Give me a thumbs up and down there at the bottom. And uh, love and welcome any comments. I know I made mistakes. Go ahead and comment away. Trolls are welcome here at the North Tuscan Steamworks. And, uh, and most importantly, do subscribe to the channel. Catch you guys all next time here on... Nice, Justin Seymour.